Okay, I'm going through St. Margaret um, prelim paper 2019. Okay, the first question is question 21. Okay, um, 16 of you got it wrong. Okay, so the most of you chose A and B. And B is the correct answer. Okay, so the keyword here is obtain pure water from ink. Okay, it's not just about separation. Okay, you separate already and you must collect. Okay, so chromatography is only separating the components. Okay, but you cannot collect the components from the chromatogram. Okay, so that's why A is not correct. Okay, the next question is question 22. Okay, um, those of you who got it wrong, you chose A. So let's see. Okay, um, when you see dirty green, you know that it's Fe2+. Plus. Okay, so you know that D is definitely out. Okay, you don't see any reddish brown PPT, so Fe3 plus is also out. Okay, so now we are comparing nitrate versus ammonium anion. Okay, so nitrate will only produce NH3 okay, in the presence of aluminium foil. Okay, so you must have aluminium foil with sodium hydroxide and warm, then you can have your ammonia gas for nitrate. Okay, so that's why those of you who chose A, take note. Nitrate will only produce ammonia gas in the presence of aluminium foil. Okay, the next question is question 4. Okay, some of you thought that tap water is pure. It's not true. Okay, your tap water contains ions besides your H2O, okay? So that's why you don't use tap water to do your experiment. You use distilled water, okay? The next question, question 6. Now, question 6, put a star, all right? Um, answer is 1, uh, sorry, answer is A, okay? Hydrogen, okay, when you form H+, plus, you lose the electron. You don't have any more electrons, okay? However, when you form hydride, this is how hydride. Okay, you have H. You gain an electron. That's why it's negative. So if you compare H minus and H plus, okay, actually it's not just one electron. In fact, this should be two electrons. Okay, two more electrons than a H plus ion. Okay, then the next question, let's take a look at question 8. Uh, question 28, put a star. This question can come out as a structured question. Okay, so both of them are ionic compound. Okay, both of them are ionic because you have metal, metal, and your oxide is non-metal, chloride is also non-metal. Okay, so both are ionic compound. So, Option A is definitely wrong, okay, because sodium chloride is definitely not covalent, okay. Now, melting point is always about the forces of attraction. So, in this case, since they are both ionic compound, we are looking at strong electrostatic forces of attraction, okay. So it is not about which metal is more reactive. We are looking about the forces of attraction. So two plus and two minus definitely is stronger compared to just plus and minus. Okay, so that's why answer is C. Okay, can okay next one. Um, okay. Question twenty nine. Greatest percentage of sulfur by mass. Okay, that's why you need to calculate. Okay, so for example, relative formula mass of NIS is 91. Okay, so you need to ask yourself, okay, I have one sulfur. So by mass, uh, 32 is my sulfur. Okay, out of the 91, what is the percentage? Okay, then uh, answer is B because I have two sulfur here. So, 32 times 2 divided by 120 times 
So you will notice that option B is the answer because it's the greatest percentage. So go and calculate for all options and you can see for yourself. Okay? Next one, um, this one put a star. Okay, only um, 20 got it correct. Okay? So question says, um, which one produced the largest volume of gas? Okay, that means most number of moles of gas. Because one mole of gas is always occupying 24 dm cube at room temperature. Okay, so that's why answer is A. Because 3 moles plus 1 mole, this is 4 moles of gas. Okay, um, this one, these two are 3 moles of gas. So this is like for 24 times 3. 72 dm cube. Then this one also 2 and 1. So this is also 3 moles. This is also 72 dm cube. Then for option C, 1 mole plus 1 mole. I have 2 moles here. So this is 48 dm cube. So answer is A because I have 4 moles of gas. 4 times 24 dm cube. You'll get 96 dm cube. Okay, so that's why answer A is correct. Okay, then the next question. Okay, question 32. Okay, question 32. Um, here they already say endothermic. Okay, so it absorbs heat from surrounding. And because of that, surrounding temperature will drop. Okay, surrounding temperature decreases, become colder. Okay, so that's why A and D definitely out. Okay, this is your exothermic reaction. Exothermic meaning you feel the reaction mixture become warmer. Okay, then um, question 35. Okay, question 35, um, answer is C. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh. They tell you that they're in the same group. So what does same group mean? Okay, same group means same number of valence electrons. Okay, will form same charge of an ion. Okay, similar chemical property. Okay, and then it also means similar chemical formula. Okay, so we just look at selenium as sulfur. So we have seen, for example, we have seen sulfur dioxide before. Okay, we also have seen sodium sulfide before. Okay, so for example, Na plus S2 minus. Because it's group 6. Okay, group 6. Huh? So it's very similar to oxygen. So together, they form sodium sulfide. Okay. And then, if we replace this selenium as sulfur, okay, we also form sodium sulfate. So it's very similar to sulfur. So remember your SO4 2 minus. Okay, they are in the same group. They will have the same charge. Okay, so you'll form similar chemical formula. Okay. okay, then the next question is question 37. Alright, I have 15 of you got it wrong. Okay, so very answers are, but let's see why the answer is B. Okay, so iron is extracted by a reduction process. So we recall the process is this. Okay, so my iron three oxide is actually reduced okay so i balance the equation okay this one removal of oxygen okay therefore iron three oxide is reduced to iron so this is my reducing agent 
Okay, so the question is asking which of the following shows the formation of the reducing agent? Which of the equation shows the formation of CO? Okay, so you need to write down this equation for you to identify which one is the reducing agent. So the reducing agent is my carbon monoxide and this step shows the formation of carbon monoxide. Okay? Okay, then question 39, put a star as well. Okay, which one is correct statement? Okay, quite a number of you chose C and D. Let's see why is it wrong. Alkane is CC single bond. Okay, they are saturated compounds. So this statement is definitely wrong. Okay, saturated compounds takes part in substitution. Okay, addition reaction means breaking of CC double bond. Okay, which means my CC double bond, for example, in this case, my ethene. Okay, my CC double bond is being broken. Okay, you will form this. Okay, so double bond broken to form this is called addition. You are adding something to it. Okay, adding something to the compound. Substitution is the opposite. It's just substituting. For example, this one is my ethane. Okay, it undergoes substitution to replace. So this one will replace one atoms. Okay, uh, this one will replace one of the atoms to form this one become chlorine here and then hydrogen here. Okay, then, then um, the last one. Okay, which one produce a gas? Carbonate. Carbonate will react acid. So it's my carboxylic group. Okay, my C double bond O O H. Okay, my carboxyl group. Okay.